Tonight, the Premier Lacrosse League comes to you from Denver, Colorado. Week 7 marquee matchup. Chaos and whip snakes and a potential playoff berth on the line. A look at the updated standings after Atlas and Redwoods earlier today. Atlas put the pressure on Archers and Chrome in their game tomorrow, and they brought the Redwoods back down towards the pack. A whip snakes win tonight would assure them a top four finish and a chance to play for the first ever PLL crown. And this is a big game for Chaos. Four and two. One of their two losses came to the whips back in week one. And for Chaos, they get a couple pieces back on D. They may be shorthanded on O, though. Yeah, Brody Merrill back at close. All is right in the Chaos defense universe. That's because Troy Ray is back from his injury at that LSM position. So the dominoes really affecting them, and they're good there. Fields on attack. The other two, Bocklet and Buchanan, those are fill-ins or replacements, if you will. No Miles Jones, no Josh Byrne tonight. Whipsnakes lineup full of all-stars, including two starting at D. Yeah, and counterintuitively, Tim Muller will get the Fields matchup. The one guy that wasn't an all-star, he's got more experience playing against Fields. In the midfield position, watch out for Mike Chanichuk. Leads the league in two-pointers and has way more attempts than anybody else. And lastly, at attack, the early season MVP candidate, Matt Rambo. He makes everything happen for this offense. Hey, Matt, this is Ryan Boyle up in the booth. What should we be expecting early offensively from you guys? Defensively, I think we're going to be uh, just playing whip snake defense. Don't worry too much about everything that's going on and just play our defense. Team defense is the most important, you know that? Well, what about your offense? <laughs> Are you talking about my offense? Of course. Offense, we're just going to hit singles. That's all we want to do. Just worry about us, not worry about anyone else. Matt Rambos. Racking up a lot of singles <laughs> these days. Team leader, league leader in points. And he's not the only one we have under the helmet tonight. Four players bringing the ability to go under the helmet. We'll have both sides of the Rambo Reardon matchup on one side of the field. On the other side, Fields and Dunn going head to head. And we will bring you under the helmet with them. Joe Nardell is having a heck of a season with face-offs for whips. He was second in face-off percentage behind Baptiste at the All-Star break. But he's second in ground balls to Tommy Kelly, who he will face tonight. Kelly dealt with a hamstring injury last time we saw him back on July 4th weekend in D.C. Something to watch for here in his first game since. Underway from Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Denver, Colorado. And after a face-off violation, the ball belongs to the first place. Whip snakes, and they go right after it. Bryce Young, 16 seconds in. John Hawes down the alley. Turns, got a little bit of room. Back to his right hand, makes the feed. And Reeves, swarm. Rowlett, the first to get there. For Carl, takes the ball, and he's off and running. They got Jake, numbers. Jake for Carl, for Newman from two. Jared Newman continues to let the two balls fly. Apparently doctored it up, fixed it up. And that's, that's what friends are for. There's a nice play from Ryan Drenner. You're going to see Miles Jones draw so much attention. That creates that little skip lane for Kevin Buchanan. Second time these two teams have seen each other. It's a rematch of the very first weekend of PLL action. As Reardon comes up with a stop on Rambo. That game ended on a true Snyder overtime winner as that shot gets through from Rambo. It got past Reardon. It eluded Glassini trying to block another one with his back. And it finds the back of the net instead. Six. He's got multiple goals in five of six games so far this season. And Fields takes it to the net from a tough angle and gets it. I mean, this guy is just an absolute magician. So you're going to see this little hesitation, this little rocker step. That gets him just the edge over Muller. That right there, that little rocker step where he's able to come back. Matt Rambo just runs through Newman. And then the dish to Carlson for the finish. Matt Rambo picks up the assist. And Carlson grabs his third goal of the season. Moves it to Eric Scott. Scott. The dive and the goal. 
He had a step on Bernhardt. He kept on moving. And the elevation allowed him to put it home. It looks like a good goal and an athletic play at that. Chaos with a one goal lead nearing the halfway point of the second quarter. Connor Fields trying to shake free. And as he draws the attention, he finds the cutting Deemer class. I can't remember the beating that a guy has taken like Fields. He absorbs check after check after check. It doesn't matter, he keeps his head up. Well, we've got Chaos and Whip Snakes in a two-goal game, and Joe Nardella taking advantage of that short field as he goes right to the net. And a big part of that is going from face-off to shot, kind of in the blink of an eye. And now it's Fields. Now for Terrain. Terrain turned around. They feed it in tight, and... This Chaos team so brings so many box elements to their Offense, how hard is it to defend all of those picks on ball? They've got a laser away, but it's handled by Burnmore. Long outlet pass, and it's Young in transition with an opening for Trenner, and he put it down. <laughs> out of the save, Bryce Young, second time today, he's gotten out in transition, showing his versatility. Fields sees an opening, takes it, scores! You can see the pick right here gets Muller a little bit confused, and that's all the angle. As a step, draws a slide, dishes off the field. And that one, off the stick of for Carl, lands right for Michael Earhart. Earhart with a lane, right down the middle, kicks it to Trenner, and he buries it. Lots of room for Earhart when the slide came. It was... All right, thanks to Jim Stagnita. It's chaos with the ball here. Buchanan oh. took a shoulder from Matt Dunn, but the ball still winds up in the Whip Snakes goal. Pat on the butt, but off of the ground ball here, you'll see Buchanan just never sees Dunn. And during that scramble play, Reese just kind of Johnny on the spot here, picks up the garbage. I'm gonna get hung. And that's the Miles Jones the Chaos wants to see. Yeah, and here you just see the physical presence. Bryce Young gets his stick underneath of Jones's arm and lifts. And typically, a midfielder just isn't big or strong enough to get free of that. And next thing you know, the ball was coming their way. Here's Trenner. And the answer is immediate for Whip Snakes. Number four for Ryan Drenner. Well, he was the only multi-goal scorer they had against the Atlas. That was their last game. Week six in D.C. is Deemer Class. Oh. Casually picks the corner past Burnlore. A little whoop. Swim dodge to a... Newman on Rambo. Bounces one out. Connor Kelly. He scores. Turnover here by Rambo, or potential turnover. Kelly just kind of sticks with it. And that was just his fifth of the season, his Bernhardt shot. Grabbed by Reardon. And Brody Merrill sends it ahead, but the pass was low. McClancy, though, able to use that midfield line to his advantage, and that shot goes. This is the distance we're much more accustomed to seeing Reese. And so it's picked up again by John Hawes, the two-point try, and Reardon able to spot it from distance, and then he gave it away. Hawes scores! A gift from Reardon. John Hawes thanks him. It's a two-goal game. He has shown to be the complete package today. The highlight and the headlines, the two-pointers. John Hawes sneaks one past Burn or excuse me, past Reardon short side. And into the middle, Scott free. Burnlore bailed him out. Chanachuk. The long <laughs> one bar down. It's tied. 
Mike Janichuk busts out the rifle. He's got a little stutter step on an all-star defender in Ty Warner. That one goes. Deemer class gives Chaos back the lead. The madness, I don't just quite understand it. This one is thrown wildly back out in front, and it's tracked down by Terrain. Terrain gets away. Heaves it out. The keep away continues for Caro back to Terrain. And Chaos hangs on for a 13-12 win over Whipsnakes. Andy Towers, Chaos. Now five and two. Jim Stagnita's Whipsnakes. Now five and two. Big win for Chaos. Headed into the playoff push. Three games remaining Let's go. Let's go. on the regular season schedule for everybody except for Archers and Chrome, who play their seventh game tomorrow. So the final score here in Denver, 13-12, Chaos over Whipsnakes. For Ryan Boyle, Chantel McCabe, and our entire NBC Sports crew, I'm Brendan Burke saying thank you for watching. Go to NBCSports.com for a full recap of this and every Premier Lacrosse League game. And join us tomorrow for Archers and Chrome, 4 p.m. Eastern on NBC Sports Gold from Denver, Colorado. Have a good night, everybody.